we have a fantastic tool for one hour trade finding any instrument like equity future or commodity if you have its past one hours price info using those info you can calculate its trend for the remaining part of the trading cycle so here minimum one hours data is required so past one hours info if you can give then it can calculate the trend for that particular instrument so it is developed using a specific concept of Fibonic and we have taken the candle gap principle along with that so to give it a good value in that uh, method so this one hour info what you required we have given a clear instruction here you need the past one hour's high, low and last traded price to input here and once you input all those price info and just hit the calculate button you can get the trend so this is being developed using as I said using the dynamic Fibonacci concept and candle gap principle so how the Fibonacci dynamic concept works we have given a fantastic ebook here you can just download that ebook and read that concept of Fibonic dynamic concepts so here I am just going to show you how it works so I am just going to take the nifty future 4th July 2016 data and here the as the data suggests I need the first one hour so first one hour high and low high and low along with that what price it is trading at the end of one hour that is also I need so for that I have just opened off this NSE real time chart so which is available in this NSE website under live analysis chart option so from here I have taken so 9.15 to 10.15 I will be taking 9.15 to 10.15 so this is the level I have taken here is a downtrend so low it has given 8.387 however in the opening itself there is a low which is much lower than that 8.385 is the low and during this particular period of 9.15 to 10.15 10.15 so 9.15 to 10.15 time so we have got that there is a high happened around this high happened around 9.36 and it has given 8.404 0.3.85 so I am just putting that value 8.404 8.404 and low 8.385 so this is the value we got in the first opening candle itself and at at 10.15 so one hour time we have taken at 10.15 the closing is 8395.55 8395.55 and I'll just hit the calculate button once I got it up, hit the calculate button I am getting the information in this particular way I'm getting that minor uptrend starts at 8400 8400.81 and it goes to 8407, 8411 like that the target is setting at 8421 level as per this particular volatility downtrend if it is falling below 85 then there is a downtrend it has the chances to bring it to 8364 and on achieving each target once it is going for 8406 its stop loss need to be changed initially the stop loss will be 8390 if it is 8400 uptrend for this uptrend 8390 is stop loss however once it touches 8406 the stop loss changes to 8395 once it goes to 8411 stop loss changes to 8401 like this so it has gone target to 8416.63 and 8406 will be its stop loss this is how this one hour trend it is for the quick trade 
quick trades you can make use of this and you can utilize for equity commodity currency and it works well for international commodity so this is the calculations we have done so what happens during this particular process if you see the day size is 8415 8415 it has given around 1220 and 1220 if you match it 8415 just you have one point below our second target only one hour's data you have taken and one point below the second target if you see the day slow which has happened which has happened during the uh, one o'clock 43 minute so day slow is 8376 8376 you have 8376 so here the target to also 8374.515 from there there is a retracement happened so this is a highly effective tool and it is only with the trailing one hours data you can able to project for the remaining trading hours trend using this particular principle and it is very very useful tool and if you have for a best practice if you have already two hours are gone for the trading or three hours out of five hours three hours are already passed in the trading so you utilize instead of one hour you utilize the three hours high low and current price or two hours high low and current price that also will work on this so so if you can utilize at the end of day what is the high low and current price also you can get some picture of trend confirmation for the next day so this is one of the best tool for identifying the trend and it is for quick trades wherein you you are trading with a very small stop loss and very small targets you can utilize this particular tool and this is a very very effective tool for the currency traders those who are international currency traders for them it is highly useful 